So what is on-site chemical generation? Uh, very basically, it, we take salt, uh, add water to it to create a brine solution, pass it through an electrochemical cell to produce a disinfectant. This is what a typical process train would actually look like. So you can see on the, on the left-hand side, we would soften the water typically. Uh, some of our systems actually do not require softening on the very small end, but on the larger systems we do. And that is because that calcium can come out on the electrolytic cell, become a maintenance issue. Uh, so by softening the water, uh, it's very easy to condition that water in such a fashion that you get nice long run times with your electrolytic cell. The, um, then we go into uh, split that stream. Part of it goes into a brine tank where we make up our brine satur uh, saturated brine. Part of that stream also goes into the back of the generator. So the generator will combine those two streams, automatically blend those two together at the right ratio, uh, automatically control the electrolytic process, produce an oxidant that then goes into the oxidant tank downstream, which can then be dosed into whatever your application might be. So in the case of drinking water, for example, you may have two pumps in this location. Uh, one might be treating pretreatment prior to a filter, for example, uh, or and then another one may be used for final disinfection prior to your clear well or your distribution and storage system. So very simple process flow. Uh, the only consumable that you're using in this case is, is food grade salt. Uh, systems are NSF approved uh, as long as you use NSF salt. So if you use food grade salt, you put that in the system, then you, uh, the system is applicable for NSF uh, approval. We make two uh, system configurations. We make just normal basic bleach generators, which generate between, uh, depending on the uh, exact piece of equipment you're looking at, about 0.6 to 0.8% solution. These are strictly designed to generate the maximum amount of, of, of bleach for the lowest price possible. So these are just simple sodium hypochlorite generators designed to run at maximum efficiency. Where we start to get into some unique chemistries is our mixed oxygen series of generators. And we, uh, again, we have another webinar that's very interesting. If you'd like to take a look at it, it talks much more about what these generators actually do and what they're producing. But to make a long story short, we use a, a more power, a little bit different cell configuration to generate a stronger oxidant. Uh, and that oxidant is a combination of sodium hypochlorite and hydrogen peroxide. And so those two things combined uh, with the trace hydrogen peroxide in there give it some really unique chemistry characteristics. We manufacture a huge variety of equipment, uh, anywhere from a one pound per day or about a half a kilogram per day of free available chlorine. Uh, all of our systems we rate as equivalent free available chlorine. Uh, so for example, if you have a system out there that's using 100 pounds a day of chlorine gas, or you can look at our, one of our data sheets and just find which piece of equipment does 100 pounds per day of equivalent free available chlorine. We make everything from very small units of one pound per day. These look just like little home water softeners practically, all the way up to large systems that produce thousands of pounds a day per skid. And even the 1,000 pound per day units and larger are quite, quite small as far as footprint are concerned. They, you know, if you want to kind of get a handle on relative size, it would almost be like two refrigerators just sitting right next to each other. So, so very compact for a very large capacity. So just about any application you might want from the very small to the very large, we've got a system that can do that. Our small systems, you can see a photo here down at the bottom of a skid mounted unit. Those can also be skid mounted for just easy uh, shipping and installation. Literally just drop a power line to it, a few water lines and dosing lines and you're off and running.